What's up, everybody? My name is Noah Andres, and this is my Rap Finds interview. So what got me into music, um, so I first started playing guitar because of an Owl City song that I heard called Hot Air Balloons. And I just like loved how the guitar sounded in there. And I was like, I have to learn how to do that. Um, and then after that, it was just um, becoming super obsessed with music and the way you can communicate through music. And then I felt like there was things that I wanted to communicate and then it just took, kind of took off from there. So yeah. So Rich Tyler was probably the first um, like real attempt at really trying to do music in some sort of serious uh, capacity. Um, I'm both proud and in, like not proud of Rich Tyler. I'm proud of it because I was I like went for it and um, I did it. Um, but I'm not proud because it really wasn't who I am. Um, and I don't really think it represented me, but I wouldn't be able to make the music I am right now without have done Rich Tyler. So yeah. So the way I got into recording and production and learning how to do all that was just, I honestly just didn't have the money to, to pay anybody else to do it. Um, like I didn't have the money to, um, to go to a fancy studio. I didn't have the money to pay people to mix my stuff and master it and produce. And so it was just kind of out of necessity. Um, but w with that, like I just fell in love with it, um, learning how to record and how to get better recordings and how to mix better and how to produce better and the creativity that comes with that. And, and with that, I just became kind of a control freak and now I don't really want anybody to touch my stuff. <laughs> So some of my favorite artists, um, John Bellion, The Weeknd, uh, Ed Sheeran, um, and The Black Keys. I say those four are probably like the most influential in terms of my music. Um, and it's funny because you'd think like listening to my stuff, there'd be a bunch of like EDM artists and stuff, but like I don't really listen to EDM at all. Um, I've just been really a big fan of just good songwriting. Um, and then the production stuff just kind of came has a personal taste, but yeah, I say those four are probably the most, um, my most favorite. I always end up going back to them. So what I like to do outside of music, um, obviously like hanging out with my wife, um, hanging out with friends, but, uh, I'm a really, really big comic guy. Um, you can't see it, but like right next to me, I got like a giant shelf of just comics. Um, yeah, I don't know really why I'm into them, but I mean, I just love them. They're I think they're just a beautiful piece of art. So that's kind of it though. I don't really do too much. <laughs> so the advice I'd give to an upcoming artist is just create. Just don't worry about what other people have to say. Um, don't really worry about other people's opinions. Just create and have fun with it. Um, the more you have fun with it, the more you're going to want to improve. Um, and when you improve, then people are going to start, you know, noticing and, and um, wanting to listen and they'll let you know that they like it. Um, but don't don't go searching around for, for other people's opinions. Um, I think that was something that I made the mistake of early um, was just seeking other people's opinions on my music and what they thought of it. And it just I think it made me a lot more insecure than I needed to be. So just have fun. So the artists I'd love to work with, um, I'd really love to work with Lauv someday, but um, there's this artist, uh, Mun. Um, I think he's incredible. Um, I'd really love to work with him. Um, but honestly, like Ciara, like my friend Ciara, who we did, Who Do You Love? And then we have some other songs coming up soon that I love working with her. Honestly, she's my favorite person in the world to write songs with. And yeah, it's, so, I mean, I guess her really. <laughs> So my ultimate goal with music is to honestly, well, one, I'd love to make it a career, but two is just to be able to express um, what I'm feeling in my story um, and my situations in a way that resonates with people um, to maybe they can be like, hey, he said something that I feel, but I just didn't know how to put into words. Um, I think that's really, really important to me. Um, and I feel like I've done that really well with my music. Um, and I would just want to continue to do that. So, yeah. So what I have coming up next right now, is just a bunch of singles. Um, I probably have like five singles, I think ready to go. Um, so it's just 
just planning them out, dropping them, um, working on new music, writing. Um, I'm writing with other people uh, besides Ciara. Um, I'm writing for some people um, right now. Um, so yeah, just just a lot of writing, I think, and it, I like that because it's 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 stretching me um, in a really good way to make my own art even better. Um, so yeah, right now that's just kind of the plan: is just keep dropping singles and making cool content. So. So something that people who follow me may not know about me, I uh, actually really love country music. Um, like I actually really love country music, which I know like maybe looking at me and listening to my music, you may not think that, but yeah, I, I love country music. Um, and part of that's growing up in Alabama. So yeah. <laughs> so yeah, that's, uh, that's the interview here with Rat Finds. I appreciate you guys watching and listening. Um, I hope something was interesting about me. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm really excited. Uh, I hope you guys like my new song. It's called 5 PM. Um, it's been out for a little bit. Um, it's my personal favorite song that I've put out, um, to date. And I also think it's my best, but, um, I hope you guys uh, get a chance to go listen to it. And then I have a new single coming out here in a couple weeks, um, that I'm not going to announce the title here. Um, but I'm really excited about it. So yeah, just make sure to, to follow me on Instagram to keep up with anything I'm putting out and follow me on Spotify. Other than that, I love you guys. Peace out.